the Queen was talking with royal commentator Alastair Bruce for a special show. He told Her Majesty the crown jewels were hidden in a tent under Windsor Castle. But viewers noted her reaction as she seemed unimpressed with the revelation. Viewers have praised the Queen's reaction after she was told the crown jewels were hidden in a biscuit tin 60 feet underneath Windsor Castle to keep them safe from the Nazis. The nanny one-year-old was speaking with royal commentator Alastair Bruce for a special one-hour program to mark the 65th anniversary of her coronation. He that a librarian removed the stones out of the jewels and placed them into a Bath Oliver biscuit tin before hiding them in Berkshire. But the Queen seemed unimpressed by the news and simply said, HMM, did he remember where he put them? He might have died in the middle. Her reaction was noted by people watching the coronation on BBC One and one viewer said, you need better stories than jewels in a biscuit tin to impress the Queen. User Matt W added, Queen being told of the jewels being hidden in a biscuit tin during the war oh. Did he tell anyone? What if he died? She is genuinely wonderful in the coronation. The gems, including the Black Prince's ruby from the Imperial State Crown, were placed in the tin and buried under a sally port, a secret exit used in an emergency. The Queen asked Mr. Bruce, you think they were at Windsor? He replied, they were definitely, ma'am. The librarian gouged the stones out of the crown jewels and wrapped them and put them into a jar and put them into a bath oliver tin and hid them. Brilliant. But she seemed unimpressed and quickly said, HMM, did he remember where he put them? He might have died in the middle. The Queen added, we were told nothing, we were only children then. We didn't know anything. All the pictures disappeared, everything disappeared and one was never told anything. It was a secret, I suppose. Her Majesty, who spent her war years at Windsor Castle for safety, was aware of the general story but did not know the details until told by Mr. Bruce. The story was unearthed for the documentary by Oliver Urquhart Irvine, the librarian and assistant keeper of the Queen's archives. Mr. Bruce said it was so lovely because the Queen had no idea and he said telling her seemed strangely odd. He told The Times, I think it's gripping how personally involved George VI was and how secretive he was about it. I think like father, like daughter, this sense of how utterly important the crown jewels are to the country is very much felt by Elizabeth too. Meanwhile, a choir boy also recalled the moment 8,000 people inside Westminster Abbey stood up thinking the Queen was going to walk in, only for four cleaners to appear. The singer, who was one of the 400 choir boys who performed during the coronation, said, We were lined up in the front two rows and it was extremely cramped if you remember. The penultimate procession was the Queen Mother and Princess Margaret. Everybody got terribly excited because the next one was the Queen. And then there was sort of a bustle at the West End and everybody thought the Queen had arrived and everybody stood up, 8,000 people, when from underneath the organ loft came four cleaners with carpet sweepers. They started to sweep the carpets to restore it to its pristine state and everybody laughed and sat down again. In the documentary the Queen also talked about the amusing trials and tribulations of being head of state. She spoke candidly and with humour about the experience of her own coronation and the symbolic importance of artefacts associated with the sovereign in the one-hour programme. Her Majesty jokingly stated you cannot look down when wearing the imperial state crown, which weighs 2 pounds 13 ounces, 1.28 kirji's tiny sum as your neck would break. She also remembered how she was brought to a stance, 